As I have mentioned in my previous video, that the Fulbright Commission has opened its application for the Fulbright U.S. student program. And that's a fully funded scholarship for international students who are interested to pursue their master degree in the United States. If you want to learn more about the program, please watch my previous video because I have explained the description of the program, eligibility criteria, requirements, and more data to learn more about this particular scholarship. In this video, I am focusing more into the application process and how you can create your application so that you can submit it gracefully to the Fulbright Commission. I have put in the description of this video this link, which is the main link that will take you to the main page of the Fulbright program, but you have to really choose your country so that you can uh, know more about the description of the program and the requirement from uh, your home country because there is kind of variations in the preliminary stage from country to country. Some countries will require a specific score in the English exam, 90 for example, another country will require 70, another country will not require English at the first stage. So it's very important to go through the description or the announcement of your home country before you submit your application. And also there are some variations in the deadline from country to country. So some countries, the deadline will be in April, another country will be in May, another country will be in June, July, or August. So you really need to make sure that uh, you read very well the description that is related to your home country. So for example, we will go here through the list, you will find uh, like Jordan, for example, then it will take you to the data about this uh, program in Jordan. And as you can see here, the website is fullbright.org, which means the there is a Fulbright Commission in Jordan. In some other countries, they don't have the uh, Fulbright uh, Commission. They have the U.S. Embassy or the American Embassy, and they will be the, the an entity that will be responsible for this program. Like Kenya, for example, as you can see, Kenya, they have no full pride commission, but they have U.S. Embassy. The American Embassy will be responsible for this program. If we check, for example, Indonesia, you can check here in Indonesia that they have another American organization that is responsible for the uh, program, not full pride and not the uh, American Embassy. So it's really different from country to another country. And the good thing about this program, uh, about this uh, link here, is it will navigate you through the correct and the right uh, place where you can apply. So if actually we took Egypt as an example to go through the application process, here it will give me more data about how it works in Egypt. And I get already here the website for Fulbright Egypt. Egypt has actually the Fulbright Commission or the Binational Fulbright Commission where you can uh, like get all the data about this program here in uh, Egypt. So for example, we will take some examples about Egypt that they need a minimum of good for the applicants who are applying for non-sciences. And if you are applying through the sciences major, you need to have a minimum of very good. You can have multiple uh, options for the English exam. In other countries, they don't have uh, these options. They will only ask you to get the TOEFL, in the IPT, which is the international one, or the TOEIC exam. So here in Egypt, they have different ones. They accept IELTS, TOEFL, IPT, or TOEFL, ITP, which is the local TOEFL, etc. Um, so, and they give you more and more data about the, the program um, in this page. But here you can find that the deadline uh, for applying in Egypt is in June 1st. As I said, there is uh, some variations from country to country based on the, uh, based on the, that is related to the deadline. So you need to make sure that you read very well the announcement in your home country. So here, for, for example, we will go through the online application instruction and here to go through the application. So this page will take you to like on how you can uh, directly create your account. So we will we will start creating now our account. And we will go through the application process and I will just 
I'm just creating for you now kind of a mock so that you can have 